Hi, I'm Dr. Amy French of the Delta College History Department. I'm a history professor there. I'm excited to uh, share with you today uh, a moment in time, take you uh, back to the past. And uh, thanks to our friends over at the Castle Museum of Saginaw County History, especially Chief Historian Tom Trombley, who wrote the script. Uh, he produced, uh, or we're going to produce a little vignette today for you that normally we would do and record for our radio program on Q90.1. Uh, but this way, with uh, going virtual, we're able to show you some pictures too. So without further ado, I'm going to click over to my PowerPoint here so that I can show you some pictures. Um, and today's um, moment in time is going to take us to 111 South Jefferson Avenue in downtown Saginaw on September 18, 1914. Twin brothers Nelson and Russell Meyer are celebrating the grand opening of their fashionable new jewelry store. The dark, elegant interior of the business, appropriately named Meyer Brothers, provides a perfect setting for displaying a rich array of merchandise offered by the young proprietors. They not only retail jewelry and fine accessories, but are accomplished jewelers capable of creating custom work for their clients. Both are recent graduates of the Bradley Polytechnic Institute in Peoria, Illinois. While the focus is on what is being sold, the real star of that September day is the shop's beautifully crafted paneling and fittings. Commissioned by the Meyer's father, it features fine woodwork and cabinets fabricated from mahogany, white tile floors, and a hand-painted ceiling. All of this reflected in expanses of plate glass and walled sheathed in mirrors. Although the store is a monument to, the, to fine craftsmanship, it is also a testament to Saginaw's ability to reinvent itself as one of Michigan's great industrial centers. All of the interior fittings were fabricated by Saginaw Sh Showcase Company, utilizing locally produced mirrors and glass. Formed in 1903, Saginaw Showcase Company traces its roots back to a firm founded by John Seinglen in 1881. Originally, the focus was on producing bedroom sets from local hardwoods. However, by early in the 20th century, his operation was specializing in crafting store fi fixtures for customers all over the county. The firm even did work for clients in South America. By this time, renamed Saginaw Showcase Company, local timber was no longer plentiful and their work featured a substantial amount of imported wood. Although no longer focused on utilizing products of the local forest, Saginaw Showcase Company still relied upon local products. All of the glass used in the cabinets was produced at the Saginaw Plate Glass Company, and the Saginaw Mirror Works transformed the locally produced glass into mirrors. Located in Saginaw Township, Saginaw Plate Glass Company was the largest plate glass factory in Michigan. A history of the company notes that during 1899, a number of progressive businessmen of this city, desiring to utilize the natural resources and give impetus to the growing prosperity of the Saginaw Valley, conceived the idea of locating a plate glass factory here. The plant owed its success to Saginaw Coal Mining. Once, Saginaw County had more coal mines than any other county in the state of Michigan. It was reported that Saginaw Plate Glass Company used only Saginaw Coal, 250 tons a day. Excess heat produced by the furnaces during the production of glass was used to evaporate brine to produce salt. The plate glass factory is one of many energy demanding manufacturers formed to take advantage of this abundant source of fuel. In its factory, the Saginaw Showcase Company combined modern equipment and hand craftsmanship to transform locally produced glass and imported wood into an elegant, almost magical sales space. The Saginaw made glass used in showcases and mirrors reminds us of an often forgotten chapter of the region's history when coal provided cheap fuel and spurred the development of local industries. While Saginaw Showcase Company certainly had its roots in the craftsmanship, in fine craftsmanship, the expanses of mirrors and plate glass that defined the interior of the store showcase, Saginaw's ability to reinvent itself as an industrial center after the collapse of the lumber industry. And so the interior of Meyer's Brothers uh, jewelry store is preserved and exhibited at the Castle Museum of Saginaw County History. So you can go down there yourself and, and really see what they've been doing. It's really cool. And once again, um, I'd like to thank Tom Trombley and I'd like to thank the Saginaw County, uh, the Castle Museum of Saginaw County History for providing these photographs, the script and the story for us so I could bring it to you. Once again, I'm Amy, Dr. Amy French with uh, the Delta College History Department. Thanks and have a great day.